Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and of course, everything technology related. Today, I want to be discuss. I want to discuss. That's right, Dropbox. For those of you who don't know what Dropbox is, it is a web service and also an application you can install on your desktop, and it has a, a free version, which which they provide two gigs of space. It has a uh, and has two paid versions. One you can get 50 gigs for about ten dollars a month, and one you can get 100 gigs for uh, I believe it's a, around twenty dollars a month. So they provide and ba they provide you space on their server, and what it allows you to do is is it does a few different things. First of all, you can share files with friends or uh, colleagues or people you're working with in a group. Let's say for example, one of the things I've done is I've used it for school purposes where I'm working with a group and we're all working on a, a, a document, let's say, uh, for a project and I want to share them the latest revision of the file. If we all have a Dropbox, what I can do is I can set up a shared folder, invite all the people in my group via their Dropbox account, email, and every time I update that file or they update that, it, they update that file, they can throw it in the Dropbox, it'll update the latest copy, and everyone has the latest copy um, uh, accessible to them. So it's really nice for syncing files back and forth, even for yourself. Like if you ha like on my Mac Pro, I have it installed, I also have it installed on my MacBook Pro. That way I always have the latest school files I need no matter where I am, whether I be at home or at school, I can always access the latest work that I'm doing. So that's really, really nice. Uh, I like that a lot. Another thing you can use Dropbox for is to just simply back up certain files, uh, because if you if you pay, you get that you get that extra space, and that allows you to put files on there and easily have them safe in, a, in the location. They back up, and it's redundant. They have offsite stuff, and as, as well as um, you know, just you having your own backup. It's also a nice to have offsite backup. So I'm going to run through over here on my on my on my Mac to show you. And by the way, this works on PC too. Uh, to show you, they have different. Uh, to show you the the application side and the web based side, so you can see how this actually looks and works. So let me switch over to uh, let me switch cam twist over to my, uh, my my computer desktop, so you can see what's going on. All right, so now you should be able to see my desktop. And the first thing you'll notice at the very top, I have Dropbox installed. Right here, you can see it says Dropbox. I've used that much percent uh, that's the Dropbox I'm sorry that's a Dropbox version number and it says all files up to date so all I have to do now is click that and as you can see it says open Dropbox folder launch the website see the, a list of recently changed files I just created a shared file and a documents folder um, as well as how much I'm using the free version so you can see I'm using uh, approximately 0.1 percent of um, of the 2.2 gigabytes I have available to me it says all files are up to date and you can upgrade your Dropbox as I mentioned before um, to a, a more to more capacity anyway I'm gonna open the Dropbox folder so I click that let me scroll out a little bit now as you can see right here I have a folder called college where I have a lot where I have some work I've been doing in a project with a bunch of people so you can see here's a chapter 7 paper here's a PowerPoint we've been working on and here's a uh, another classes um, and you of course you can create subfolders if you want here's another classes uh, project um, guideline that I have to look at later so that's one folder now let's say I wanted to hmm, let's say I wanted to invite someone to my documents folder so they could access this shared file right here so all you have to do then is you have to go to the website once you're on the website of Dropbox you will you have to log in and once you're there, you'll see this page. And by the way, I'm going to mention this really quick. Um, if you invite people, they bump up your free space. So look, I invited someone. I got 250 megabytes more of space, and all, and all, and that's free. I mean, I haven't paid a dime, and I have now 2.25 gigabytes of stuff, of of space I can use for stuff on Dropbox. So that's nice. I didn't even pay anything yet. Um, so that I use the free version as I'm pointing out, obviously. So now all you have to do is you go to files. On the website you can manage the files from here. You can create new folders. Uh, you can show deleted files. You can, um, well you have to click a file. You can do more, and you can do many more actions with the file. So if I 
select this file, you can do more actions, you can download the file from the website, copy it, rename it, move it, delete it, and so on and so forth. You can even upload files um, via the web uh, uh, interface. So let's say I wanted to share a fo this documents folder. Of course you can go to the sharing tab, which is what I'm going to do. You can also probably do it from that tab. Um, but if you go to the share folder and you say I want to share an existing folder. All right. So you select the folder. I'm going to share I'm going to share the documents folder. Click next. Now it's going to ask for collaborators uh, that you want to uh, invite to here. So now as I mentioned, you use the the email address of the person's account. I just had one copied to the clipboard, David. Um, and I'm going to send him a little message. This is optional, but you can do it. Hey David, I'm sending you this you this invite on live dot best techie at typo dot net so I'm gonna share the folder now and that's it it's that easy now David will have access to this shared file dot RTF now if I click it it'll ask me to download it and that's really nice too um, it's really simple this is by far the one of the nicest applications I've seen for syncing files and the easiest um, a lot of app, a lot of sync apps I've seen um, really can, can be a little confusing because you're going back and forth and you're saying, oh, did I, did I, do, which one do I sync? Do I sync this one or this one? And then you sometimes overwrite particular files and it can be really confusing. Dropbox really makes it simple. Um, and here you can see a, a, a list of recent events. Um, so for example, all you have to do to see that is click the recent events. And I, you can see I just invited David Ford. To, I shared a folder with him. Uh, I created a, a new folder called Documents about 17 seconds ago. Um, and oh, look at that! David seems to have just added a fold of a file to the sh Documents folder. It says Hi Jeff. That was created by David, so that's really cool. So as you can see, it's real time. Everything. See, it says David, and look, real time. David Ford just added. Hi Jeff.rtf. So it's real time. Everything uh, syncs in real time. There's no lag. There's no delay. It's a magnificent and wonderful program. I highly recommend you check it out. Dropbox.com works. They also their official domain is uh, getdropbox.com. Although uh, you can get there via Dropbox.com. They just recently acquired that. So you can use either the official one is getdropbox.com. Um, but I believe Dropbox.com also points there now as well. So check out Dropbox. Of course, this has been live.besttechie.net. If you have any questions, concerns, comments about Dropbox or anything, feel free to email me, jeff at besttechie.net, and I'll be happy to reply as fast as I can. Anyway, thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time. And remember, remember, take care of your computers.